Well, think about this the next time you go log on to research candidates for the 2016 election. A new study says that Google's search algorithm could actually help steal the presidency. Here to explain is Dr. Robert Epstein, one of the study's authors and a senior research psychologist at the American Institute for Behavioral Research and Technology. Uh, Dr. Nice to see you this morning. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Clayton. So in your studies over the past couple of years, how did you figure out that people were manipulated by certain negative news stories appearing in search results? You did this, what, in Australia to test this out? No, no, we've uh, done five uh, big experiments, uh, four in the U.S. and one in India, right in the middle mm. of a big election there with more than 4,000 people. So, uh, no, we've really uh, studied this very, very carefully, and it's a, it's a, it's a big problem. So to be specific, what you were doing was presenting presenting potential members of this study with potential with with search results from a fake um, with a with a fake uh, search giant, right? And then you would drop in sort of negative news stories into the search queries, and you found that that had a profound effect on the way in which they voted, right? Well, Ronald Robertson and I conducted a whole series of experiments showing that when biased rankings are shown to people. Uh, that if one candidate is made to look better than another in the rankings, that shifts the voting preferences of those voters who are undecided. And it's a big shift, and the biggest shift uh, we found, by the way, in any group anywhere was among moderate Republicans. They're actually the most vulnerable to this kind of manipulation. So this idea that the election could be swayed by just simply one negative story it seems kind of preposterous, but when you think about it, most people don't even go past the first page of Google results at all, right? Well, that's the problem. And the higher something is ranked, the more people trust it. 50% of all clicks go to the top two items. Uh, more than 90% of all clicks go to the first page. And what we've learned is that you know, if you put something near the top, people believe it and they trust it. Uh, more than if it's lower on the list. And so the problem here is that if Google executives or a rogue employee or even just Google's algorithm favors one candidate in search rankings, that can easily flip an election. In fact, we've computed that upwards of 25% of the world's national elections can be flipped by Google's algorithm with no one knowing that this is being done. Well, we saw what Facebook did when they started to manipula manipulate people's news feeds and timelines by putting negative stories, and they were just studying people, didn't tell anyone about it. Google, though, says this, and I want to get up their statement. They said, providing relevant answers has been the cornerstone of the Google's uh, approach to search from the very beginning. It would undermine people's trust in our results and company if we were to change course. So Google's saying, look, we're not manipulating this. Do you buy that? You know, that's as vague as can be. That's a, that's a meaningless statement. Uh, our research shows without any doubt that Google's algorithm, with or without uh, any involvement by Google employees, Google's algorithm has been affecting the outcomes of close elections around the world for years. Hmm. Fascinating. We heard about Google bombs and people trying to get uh, information onto Google and trying to trump search results in favor of one candidate or another. Fascinating research, Doctor. We appreciate you sharing it with us this morning. Thank you. Still ahead, uh, live or, uh, uh, a, li a life or death situation all caught on camera. A truck driver crashes and stops breathing. This state trooper's desperate attempt to save his life is next. And we've all seen and heard those persuasive infomercials. We watch them in the middle of the night.